install it, we're going to create this sidechain compressor effect from scratch. So open up a new live set and let's get cracking. When you double click on a MIDI track, notice how live says drag MIDI effects, audio effects, instruments, or samples here. Select drums in the browser, open the drum hits folder, and open the kick folder. This sample from the Loop Master's mixtape live pack will work fine, so drag that in. Live creates a simpler instrument, and now we can play the sample like any other MIDI instrument. Double click on an empty clip slot and pencil in a kick at C3 on every beat. Click the play button on the clip to hear the results. Let's do the same thing for a snare. Double click on the next MIDI track, locate the snare folder, and open it. We're going to search for a sample containing the number 25. There it is. Quantic House Shot. Drag that into your track, double click on an empty clip, and place a snare hit on the backbeat the way nature intended. Let's hear how that sounds. Okay, next step. Create a new MIDI track by pressing Command Shift T. I'm going to add a Max for Live instrument called Strata Cloud that can be downloaded from the Cycling 74 wiki. Strata Cloud is a droning instrument that will be perfect for processing with a sidechain compressor. Press play to hear the instrument and then transpose the output down by 12 semitones. Now select Audio Effects under Browse and locate the Glue Compressor. Drag that in after the Cloud instrument. Okay, here comes the fun part. Open the Disclosure Triangle to reveal Glue's sidechain controls. Enable sidechain. We want the audio from the kick track to control the droning output of Strata Cloud. Under Audio From, select the kick drum track. Turn the gain all the way up, turn the ratio all the way up, and turn the threshold all the way down. While we're here, locate the Make It Loud glue preset and place this on your master track. Bring the threshold down until you see the meters start to pump a bit, and then add makeup gain just short of clipping. One more element, and this is where Mono Sequencer comes in. Make a new MIDI track, locate Mono Sequencer under Max for Live MIDI Effects, and drag that onto your track. We're also going to need an instrument, so I'm going to use Strata Thick, which comes in the same pack as Strata Cloud. Let's transpose the mono sequencer down an octave. Now let's create an octave shift effect that occurs in a three pulse loop. Switch to the pitch tab and add a flat seven every so often because this is my video and I like flat sevens apparently. I'm going to make this a 7 pulse loop to add some subtle variation. Select your Strata Cloud track, select the glue compressor, copy, switch over to the mono sequencer track, and paste the compressor at the end of the chain. I'm going to open up the filter a bit so we can hear it better, and add a bit of glide for portamento effect. Now if I record enable both these MIDI tracks, I can use my MIDI controller to play the tracks in real time. 